Gamaya. The motto of the school has inspired this edifice of education to evolve into one of the finest CBSC girls' schools of Kolkata, with a congenial, child-friendly environment in which every student develops her intellectual ability, interpersonal skills, and a spirit of empathy, a meaningful journey which began in 1954, shines brightly and brilliantly. Now, I would request our Secretary General, Mrs. Pratiti Bhattacharya, to address the parents. Good morning, parents. Good morning, Mrs. Stanton, principal of the school. Mrs. Mukherjee, headmistress of the school. All the other teachers and if children are present, a very good morning to you also. We welcome you on board and you are part of the Sri Shikshayatan family. We are very happy that you have also been added to our list and you have become a member. You've already seen the history, how we started off. So already this group is 98 years old and this video was taken when we completed 60 years. So it is a little old, 4 years, because now we are 64 years. So you are part of that heritage. And we also thank you for trusting us because because you trust us, you have admitted your child here. And I'm sure you're going to be happy because we have, we call ourselves a caring institute. Our teachers are very well trained and you will see this journey of about 13 years in school and maybe more because you know we also have a college, we also have a business school. So that will be another three years, 16 plus another two, that makes it about 19 years. And we will expect that you will be with us for those 19 years. When uh, parents, you are a partner, partner with us because you are a very important stakeholder. and. The school makes every effort, but along with that, we also want parents to understand what we are doing, to understand our motto, what we believe in, so that we can add to the progress of the child. Because the whole idea of Sri Shikshantan is empowering the child. Empowering, making the child knowledgeable, so that the child is able to adapt to any kind of situation. And for that, we all have to work as a team. We believe in quality education and we are a very, very progressive school. But before I get into that, I also like to understand the logo. You must have seen the logo. The logo is, you know, which has a lamp and this lamp is the knowledge lamp, which our teachers ignite in every child and there is a blue color around circle. The circle is our life cycle and the blue light, blue color that you see is the infinite knowledge that a child can get. So through that light of lamp, they can increase their knowledge power and that is what we do today. Coming back to a, being a progressive school, we, we train our teachers, we train our students, we give them a lot of opportunities and we adapt to new techniques of teaching. We are a digital school. You, you can very well understand that today the digital world is something which our children are being brought up and you know they are living in that world so we have to also give them those facilities so we have tap teaching we have teaching through interactive and smart boards in our classes plus we are one of those that school which started out with online uh, you know admission process 
and everything online, even your stationaries, everything you can book through online. If there are sometimes we also need uh, to, uh, you know, get some money from you for some kind of assessment, not at this level, maybe a little later, but that also we collect online. It is not a no, it is a cashless uh, school. So I think, you know, you are part of that school which is very modern. Apart from that, your diary, lessons, everything is uploaded. So you can see that. Please go through our website. Our website is already, uh, you know, we are making a new website. So you will get to see that very soon. Otherwise, whatever is there, it is quite informative. Please kindly go through it. I once again welcome you and thank you for trusting us. Wish you all the best. Thank you, ma'am. Next, I would like to call upon the stage our principal, Mrs. Sakita Tandy, to speak a few words. A very good morning to all our dear parents who are here in the morning for this orientation. At the very outset, I would like to congratulate all of you. And you know the reason? Of course, it is because your daughters have got admission in one of the best schools of Kolkata. And after that, like it has been said earlier, welcome on board. If you are with us, this journey will continue for very many years and I'm sure like us, even you are looking forward to it. Now let's talk about Sri Shishyatan School. As you all are aware, we have got close to 3,800 children in our school. It's a very big school. So we have the junior section and the senior section. The junior section is under the headmistress, of course under the principal also, but under the able guidance of our headmistress, Ms. Mukherjee, and her team. And this team is very, very efficient. This you will realize when you interact with them at every juncture. When it comes to our teachers, they have to go through a rigorous interview rounds and of course, you know, demonstration before they get secure a job in this school. These teachers are well trained. It's not that once the entry is over, we forget to train them. No, year round, they're sent for workshops, seminars to upgrade their skills. Hence, we said we take pride in being one of the best schools of Kolkata. There are a few other things that we would like to discuss over here. When it comes to academic skills, let me tell you when it comes to academics, from junior to later on, we are going to offer science, commerce, and humanities. And we are quite renowned, not only for sciences, but also for commerce and humanities stream. What about co-curricular activities? I'm sure by now, if you've gone through our website, you must be aware that we have offer a host of co-curricular activities. We have visual and performing arts, where children are there for ballet, for guitar, for drums, Indian classical music, Western music, dance, Indian dance. So there's a host of activities over there. When it comes to clubs, Yes, we have got specialists over there. And who are these specialists? They come to our school to give classes in Mandarin, German, French. These languages are there in the junior school as clubs, in the senior school as the third language. We also have quiz masters, trained people coming to our school for debate, elocution. We have got a number of clubs, as many as 22 clubs in our school. So this is as far as our activities go. And let me tell you, today in the morning itself, when I was speaking, the teacher of French walked in and she said, again, our school has done us 
A girl has done us proud and I asked her why. It seems the girl has secured first position at the state level and she received a cash prize of 10,000. Last year in Spelby, a girl was at the national level and that girl, she secured the prize at the national level and later got a chance to go to Singapore to represent the school. Very recently, we have won Global Competency Award where 90 schools from all over the world participated. There were 15 countries and our school emerged as the winner or the champion school. So we are doing quite well. And like it has been said, yes, you are a partner over there. It is not possible to achieve these heights or these achievements to scale without the support of the parents. There are a few other things, concerns, which I know parents do have when they put the children in school, in a school which happens to be Shri Shikshayadan school. Well, in our school, let me tell you, we are very concerned about the safety and security of the girl child who enters the gate, the gates of our school. Outside the gate, of course, I trust the parents are going to take care to drop the child to school and take the child away from the school once the school gives over. That part, who you, who you entrust to this duty to, I'm sure you're going to be very particular about it. It is our duty to tell you that things outside many a times are not correct. We do have other people, transport arrangements sometimes you make, which we do not find correct and the school gives you a warning or talks about it, but largely it's your area of work. We feel you will be careful enough before you decide upon the or you make the transport arrangements for your girl child to come to school. Once your child enters the school, let me tell you, as you must have seen outside at the gate, we have a strict security over there. Inside the school, we've got as many as 150 cameras. Every floor has got attendance. All washrooms are covered. Even the audio recording is over there, which can be heard. So we are taking care. Your child, we keep track of what the child is doing in lower classes. We also have helper teachers apart from the class teacher. We keep you informed about everything. But nevertheless, I'm sure there could be some problems. It is possible. If there is a problem, then what is the step that the parents are supposed to do? Get in touch with the class teacher. That's the best thing to do. Problem of any kind, be it small, be it big. And let me tell you, any problem that you have, you may think it's a small problem, what will the school do? No, it is not correct. School is always there to help you, be the problem a small one or a big one. We never say that it is too small for us because we do understand that a stitch in time saves you know nine. That problem can actually get aggravated and can become very big. To help us out, we also have three counselors and one special educator in this school. So your problem is listened to, we follow up, and at every step, we keep you well informed. You have to also understand if there's a problem at home, children get affected. And if they get affected, then school has the right to know. So many times the behavior of the children, when we are unable to understand, we call the parents to school. And then we find out that it is happening at home. And that is the time we seek your cooperation. We call you on one-to-one -one basis generally, except for the PTMs when we speak to you in groups. Otherwise, you can always seek for an appointment. It is, of course, through prior appointment, whether you're speaking to the class teacher, to the headmistress, or to any other person of the school. It is through appointment, and not as and when you like, you can walk in. It is very important to do this for the safety and security of the school. Apart from that, let me tell you, in the school, we do have three committees, where, of course, in two of the committees, the parents are on board. One is the management committee where the parents are there. The other committee is for the safety and security. We have a committee there also. Also, the parents are, are on board. We also have one more committee which is called POXO, which I'm sure all of you must be aware of. What is POXO? Yes? 
you all know about it it is against prevention of any offense against a child so we have that committee also and we meet quite often apart from that we do not recognize any forum any committee so it's not that you know you form a forum or a committee because we do have proper legally constituted committees which we are looking into and all problems are being addressed by the school so these are very small things that we thought today we'll share with you and of course very soon our headmistress is going to come and speak and tell you about the other things that you have to be very particular about we are quite happy that you have decided to join this school we are going to go ahead with this partnership in the next 13 years i'm sure the school will grow we are working towards the growth of the school along with the teachers parents and our little ones who, who are over here i think most of the points that we i wanted to cover we have covered except one uh, caution that we would like to give to the parents which we also give to our teachers we do feel when it comes to media and other areas people always want a comment from someone how do you feel how what are your feelings what are your views so we do tell our teachers also kindly do not express your views outside whatever you have to say come to school let's talk let's not you know even if you are happy about something you can come and tell write a note to the headmistress i'm so pleased so happy that this thing has been done so well in this school we appreciate that and that is what we would like to see in times to come wishing your little ones all the very best and i'm sure when they join the school they are going to enjoy they stay in the school thank you so much thank you ma we will see a brief presentation of our activities Shikshatan Foundation is with Bhattacharya, COO Shikshatan Foundation, Mr. Garwal, our principal, Ms. Sandeepa Tandon. Good morning to all of you parents, and very good morning to the little ones who will join within the next fortnight. Now, basically, orientation is not to just welcome you. to keep you abreast about what is happening how we are going to work not only that but also to hold your hands in this journey because i find through the little experience that i have that one of the toughest roles that you have to play now is a balanced parenting you will find at every step that as your child is growing up she is changing with each and every day and you have to be you know one step ahead of your child and parenting is one of the most important things that you will learn not from the internet not from your friends not from the whatsapp groups that you have but from your day to day life skill that is what we will teach your child who will teach us and who will also teach you and the most important thing that you will learn from your child which we have learned and we are still learning is every child is unique every child has something of the other in her be it if she's a slow learner 
be it if she is averagely intelligent, or be it if she is a very above IQ level student. Every child holds something special in her, in her life, skill, behavior, in her special activity, in her extracurricular, in her daily day-to-day -day attendance. And that is what we aim at nurturing and developing. So the first thing that you will have to remember, parents, is never to compare. Every time that we start our sessions, we gear ourselves up like it's the man has been telling you about these workshops that teachers attend. And the most important thing and the common thing that we learn from there is, remember that every child is unique. So let me share with you the way we do our lesson plans. Some of you sitting here, mothers, may be aware of lesson plans. So when we talk about our lesson plans in the junior section, we follow Gardner's method of multiple intelligence because even though we follow the six basic multiple intelligence theory, there are many others which are continuously being developed every day. Now a child may learn by rote, that is by memory. Another child may learn hands-on. Another child learns when it is musical. Somebody learns the play way. And when we make our plans, we keep all that in mind. So if you're teaching cleanliness, you just don't say, keep your classroom clean and keep your house clean and pick up your books and pick up your pencils. We also teach them through the song that is bits of paper. And this is not just a rhyme because every school teaches them that. It's through action of that song, through putting that song into activity. And they do that every day. And in case the teacher forgets one day at the end of the session, the children say, today we've not done bits of paper. Because that is what we want them to learn. Another thing which I think Principal Nam has already mentioned is, when we get very worked up, we are talking about our children and not a child. Often I have seen, when I come, I have seen parents over anxious mothers Nowadays, you know, this syndrome has developed all over the world. And I read an article published by BBC where they wrote about the tiger mom, the helicopter mother, who's hovering over her like a drone on her child's head and trying to monitor every breath that the child takes and ultimately strangulating the child. So parents, I would request you every time you start the day and you wake up your child, especially mothers, Please remember, at the end of the day when you put her to bed, how many times did you really talk to her? Or you have just instructed her to get up, brush your teeth, comb your hair, pack your bag, did you drink milk? What did your teacher do? Have you written the diary? Did your friend come to school? Have you eaten your breakfast today? Did you eat your tiffin? Did your teacher smile at you? Did your teacher scold you? And when did you actually talk to your child? When did you ask her, what did she see while she was at the metro today? When did you listen to her when she said, today when I was coming out of the school, I saw my class teacher with a red rose on her bun. The children speak to their parents, I have seen that. But parents, over anxious mothers, I'm not talking about everybody, we tend to become anxious, do not have the time to listen to them. And see, so many of you are already smiling because you do that. In the stress of making your child get an A grade, I really don't know. I think that's something Mama has always told me about, that you being the headmistress, and you don't know what an A grade is about. I really don't know why a child during this person cries out loudly, a very small child of upper KG, class one, and when I ask her what is wrong, she says, I got a C grade. So I said, C is for cat, and I love cats. Don't you say, my mama will scold me. So a C grade is not a grade, but it's mama who scolds her. But that is, yes, we will have to follow that balance. You may ask me, then why grades, mom? But you have to hold the child's hand and slowly leave her hands and let her walk. That's all that you have done. Did you, on a particular day, which the doctor told you, don't order hands from Thursday the 7th, 
We don't, we don't do that. And in school, we have to schedule for that. So many a times I've seen parents saying, kuch nahi kar raha hai school mein. Ye sab to kuzi mein kar chuka hai, agar kuch nahi ho raha hai. School mein kuch hoi nahi raha hai. Don't panic parents. We have a very, very strict set, scientific syllabus, and we know how we will have to implement it. It will be done, and by the end of the year, we put up a program for children of lower KG, separately for children of upper KG, where each and every child will come up on the stage and participate in a musical. And I have seen parents congratulating my teacher, saying, how did you manage, ma'am? How did you manage? Because my child never listens to me. I think that's shameful. If your child doesn't listen to you, to whom shall she listen? It's not about obeying, it's about listening. That is the difference we have to remember. And before I end, let me again remind you, so many times early in the morning you receive messages on your WhatsApp wishing you wonderfully about the good morning. Remember, every time you get something about the Buddha, read it carefully, because 4,000 years back, he was the one who said, you don't have to renounce the world, you don't have to immerse in the material world, but maintain the balance. That is all that I have to say to all of you today. As we start this journey, like 19 years, Mrs. Bhattacharya has mentioned, wishing you all the very best, and once again, welcome to the school. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Today I will brief you about the do's and don'ts that we will follow for our duty. We have no examination or test. Continuous assessment is done regularly. So children must be regular to school. Parents must send books according to the timetable. Please put the current tapes on the books and exercise books as instructed by the teacher. All communication must be done to the diary. In case a parent wants to meet a teacher, an appointment with the teacher must be taken through a diary note. Parents must sign the exercise books and diary regularly. Absent notes to be written on time and children should be made aware of the absent note to be shown to the class teacher for signature. Do not send a sick child to school. If any emergency occurs, we will take the child to the nearest clinic and you will be informed as early as possible. We have a trained nurse to look after our sick child. No oral allopathic medicine will be administered to a child. The class teacher must be informed through a diary note in advance in case a child wants to leave with their garden instead of a normal pool car. Proper uniform must be worn according to the timetable. Please send your word in neat and clean uniform. Please tie the hair properly. No nail paint, mehendi, colored clips, hair bands will be allowed. Only black colored clips or hair bands are allowed. No long absenteeism will be entertained except medical emergency. Please plan your vacation according to the school schedule available through the diary. Seating arrangements are rotated every week so that each child gets a chance to sit on the first bench. Please send homemade food. Avoid junk food and eggs in any form. Simple cheerful food like mini sandwich, simple aloo chaat, dry fruits, fresh fruit salad, poha, etc. Never send noodles, pasta, pack, pack, packet cakes, packed biscuits, etc. Napkins to be brought every day. Please ensure 
that you avoid giving milk to your child before she comes to school in the morning as it might result in coughing. ID cards are to be worn every day without fail. Escort cards are to be shown at the time of dispersal. Guardians are requested to come on time to receive the child. Labeling of stationery is a must with nail polish. Write the name, class and section in bold letters. Send an extra set of colored dress every day with the child for emergency. No expensive gifts is to be distributed among the children on the occasion of a child's birthday. Please follow the diary instruction. Parents are requested to intimate the class teacher if there is any medical complication of the child supported with necessary medical documents. Parents are kindly requested to cooperate with the teachers, special educator and counsellor regarding any academic or behavioural problems of their work. Encourage your child to talk in English at home. Do not encourage them to watch cartoons. Instead, go for Discovery Channel, Animal Planet, National Geographic channels in English. Teach them to listen to English news. Avoid mall culture. Encourage nature visits, village tours, etc. It will de-stress you as well your child. Instead of lavish birthday parties, teach many mornings. Avoid keeping up late nights as children tend to feel drowsy and depressed without a proper sleep. Comparison between children should always be discouraged. Glue is a must for every art and craft period. Practice drawing ending lines and writing diary. PT uniform to be worn on the days they are PT, while regular uniform to be worn for games. Syllabus may change. You will be duly informed. We have CCTV cameras in school, but it is only for security. Please ensure that you are on time to collect your word. Children may hate, push, fight amongst themselves. We are always careful. Do not blow up the matter. Please do not write letter against any child. If any problem occurs, communicate through the time. Do not communicate or try to take information from parents. Rather, wait for teacher's instruction. We have the digital diary, which will enable you to find out the work done in a class on a daily basis. You can access it with your UIN. Our session is starting from 3rd April 2018. On 3rd April, the reporting time for the children is 8.50 a.m. and dispersal will be 10.20 a.m. This is only meant for the new students. As we come to the end of our orientation program, we take this on our parent responsibility and look forward to a long successful association to help the child realize her complete potential. Thank you. We request the parent to kindly be seated. Parents, 
Officer Sai, you may leave. This person will be turned 28. 